came here from hacking, right? Yeah. Right, coding. Hacking not in the way we all know, but in professional coding, let's say. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, what are you going to do then? Uh, basically, we're matching LinkedIn profiles. So, uh, we're actually trying to find people, <coughs> to find um, teams for people. So, you, you came here at the hack event in the morning and you don't have a team. You have an idea in your head. You want to build something on, I don't know, PHP and MySQL and something. But you don't have a team, so you want to uh, pitch this project for uh, the guys at the event. So what do you do? You go to the, this website, you enter the project state, uh, you enter the info. I want uh, developers on PHP, I want designer to know HTML, CSS and that. Yeah. And after that, you fetch people from LinkedIn. So you search uh, and <coughs> we actually made uh, a suggestions model that gives you uh, people that have those skills. Yeah. So it's an easy tool to find people. But for this, you're going to have uh, this paid subscription on LinkedIn, or how is it? Yes, yeah, so we're actually crawling uh, LinkedIn profiles. Yeah. Uh, so <coughs> the members uh, must have filled their, um, their info on LinkedIn. Okay. I don't know, their skills, their education, their uh, summary, something that we can fetch. You collect the normally field experience data, I mean, with their skills Something that's public, because LinkedIn doesn't give you that much information, only uh, what the users have mentioned to be public. We do mesh up also, for example, with uh, Gravatar services where you can feel, get data. No, we, we haven't connected network, Gravatar. Like no. Uh, I, I don't know that much. Perhaps people don't uh, enter their info into Gravatar. Uh, have, have you entered uh, your skills, your technical skills, if you uh, work with some technology or something? No technical skill because first of all I know Gravatar is used like all over. Okay. So I'm into my field data area, who I am, what I'm doing, plus I'm linking all my social networks. So it's a good peer father who's connecting to me on the Gravatar so they can get right, but LinkedIn. We wouldn't have any information to grab from, from Gravatar. We, we we want to know if you work with uh, with Python and if you work with certain databases. Yeah. In this case, we can't find that info on Gravatar, so we need to, to fetch it for someone. And we thought LinkedIn would be a wise choice. Okay, so you, you decided uh, LinkedIn gonna be just only one network that's actually gonna provide a full It's easier to do in 24 hours, and that's what we want. So you try to fit in 24 hours? Yeah, yeah, we want them running. You're gonna make it? Yeah, we're, we're pretty positive. Oh, you mean already old? No, it's not <laughs> ready yet. We, we have the. We're drinking right now some soda and stuff, but yeah, same, same. yeah, we're gonna play some Xbox after that. Okay, so you reserve time also for gaming all the stuff? Uh, after a few hours of hacking, perhaps we're gonna go play some balls. Do you afraid any ideas, stealing or something, with people around you who's gathering around, passing through and so on? Mm. You know, hacking after all is hacking, you know, they follow the fool, staying in the back, checking stuff and getting in. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. After we, uh, after we're gonna have some demo, uh, perhaps in a few hours, we're gonna show it to people. We're actually gonna post uh, the link to Facebook and try to to get some uh, some users. Uh, and perhaps we're gonna do one or two iterations after in, until the morning. Okay. So when you're gonna have this thing ready, what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna just drop it as this, or you're gonna continue it as application? We're not quite sure it? yet. It's an interesting option because um, if, if we find that people actually use this, because right now it's only an idea and we execute it, yeah. but we don't know if, it, if it's actually a product or if people will actually use it. Uh, if after the event we'll see that people love this thing that we built, perhaps we're going to continue working on it, but um, not, not full time. We have other projects. Are you going to use any of the technologies you've been using before? I mean, things you've been for your somebody's in your team already created something in the past or you just in the um, scope what you have right now available? Right now the our hack is built on, on top of, of Python uh, and I've been coding on Python a few months right now so I don't have that much experience. Uh, Chipran as well, he's a colleague with me at Balao. Um, we're doing MySQL, that's something we all know. Uh, we're doing Django, that's, that's a web, fra web framework for Python. Um, it's not that much. Did you get anyone brand new in the team? I mean, the guy you never met before? Or yeah, we, we actually have a designer that um, 
him on me a few a few days ago that wanted to join the team. Uh, he loved the idea. Uh, he loved that we actually want to um, launch this pretty fast and to actually iterate it once or twice. So actually, during before the event. coming here, you already had idea what you're gonna do, and back then you already managed to find a design. Well, we, um, me and Ciprian were actually having a coffee and talking about this event. And, hey, what we're gonna do? And we said, hey, let's build something for the guys at the event. Perhaps uh, we can convince Yahoo to uh, use this on the next year. Because mm -hmm. um, we think it's a pretty interesting tool to use to find uh, people or to find members for your team if you have an idea. And we said, Let, let's build it here. Let's build it for the people right here. Um, and we created a team. After that, we uh, <coughs> posted on the... Um, open hack. Or there was a spreadsheet or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we posted that we were looking for a Python developer, and uh, we were looking for a UX designer, someone that could help us with the design because we weren't that talented. The user interface going to be based on uh, Yahoo interface library. Yes. Yeah. You so you you fit in the, one of the yeah. criteria to, to use one of the Yahoo technologies. Well, that was a constraint actually. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't thinking, uh, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna use it. We uh, read a few few tutorials right now about it, and it's pretty cool. Oh, you have Luke. Luke Smith yeah. is uh, from yeah, Yahoo. Yeah, we, we could ask. Him. I think we should. Have I a just had, I just had an interview with him. He's just presented outstanding stuff. It's just freaking crazy compared to what being on uh, user interface library two and what's in version three is freaking awesome. It's it's much like uh, jQuery and CSS. It's yeah. not that different. So I think we could work with it. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, good luck then. Thanks. Yeah. Talk to you later on then. Bye.